Every August 27, the Catholic Church honors Saint Monica, whose holy example and fervent intercession led to one of the most dramatic conversions in church history. Monica was born into a Catholic family in 332, in the North African city of Tagaste located in present-day Algeria. She was raised by a maidservant who taught her the virtues of obedience and temperance. While still relatively young, she married Patricius, a Decurian pagan and a Roman civil servant. Patricius reportedly had a violent temper and appears to have been of dissolute habits, and a disdain for his wife's religion. Monica's almsgiving, deeds, and prayer habits annoyed Patricius, but it is said that he always held her in respect. Monica had three children who survived infancy, St. Augustine and Navigius, and a daughter, Perpetua of Hippo. However, as a Christian mother, Monica was unable to secure baptism for them mainly because of her husband. It is said that one day when Augustine fell ill, she grieved heavily. In her distress she asked her husband Patricius to allow Augustine to be baptized, he agreed. After Augustine recovered, he withdrew this consent. Monica dealt patiently with her husband's distressing behavior, which included infidelity to their marriage vows. Monica's long-suffering patience and prayers eventually helped Patricius to see the error of his ways, and he was baptized into the church one year before his death in 371. Her oldest son, Augustine, soon embraced a way of life that brought her further grief, as he fathered a child out of wedlock in 372. A year later, he began to practice the occult religion of Manichaeism. In her distress and grief, Monica initially shunned her oldest son. However, she experienced a mysterious dream that strengthened her hope for Augustine's soul, in which a messenger assured her, your son is with you. After this experience, she allowed him back into her home and continued to beg God for his conversion. However, this would not take place for another nine years. In the meantime, Monica sought the advice of local clergy, wondering what they might do to persuade her son away from the Manichaean heresy. One bishop, who had once belonged to that sect himself, assured Monica that it was impossible that the son of such tears should perish. These tears and prayers intensified when Augustine abandoned her mother without warning and boarded a ship bound for Rome. Yet even this painful event would serve God's greater purpose, as Augustine left to become a teacher in the place where he was destined to become a Catholic. Under the influence of Bishop Ambrose of Milan, Augustine renounced the teaching of the Manichees around 384. Monica followed her son to Milan and drew encouragement from her son's growing interest in the saintly bishop's preaching. Monica and her son Augustine spent peaceful months together at Rus Casicaicum, which is the present-day Casago Brianza, after which Augustine was baptized by Ambrose in 387 in the Church of St. John the Baptist in Milan after three years of struggle against his own desires and perplexities. The mother and son left for Africa stopping at Civitavecchia and at Ostia. Shortly before her death, Monica shared a profound mystical experience of God with Augustine. She told him, Son, for myself I have no longer any pleasure in anything in this life. Now that my hopes in this world are satisfied, I do not know what more I want here or why I am here. Monica died at age 56, in the year 387. In his book Confessions, Augustine wrote a number of wonderful and remarkable things about his saintly mother. Monica was buried at Ostia, though her body was removed during the 6th century to a hidden crypt in the church of Santa Rea in Ostia. Her tomb was later transferred to the Basilica of Sant'Agostino, Rome. In modern times, Monica has become the inspiration for the Saint Monica Sodality, which encourages prayer and penance among Catholics whose children have left the faith. Saint Monica is honored in the Church of England and in the Episcopal Church every year on May 4th. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.